Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, new week, new video, another brand new video. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll probably see that I'm having a wee trip down memory lane in two counts. If you've watched the channel before, then you probably realised I've moved back out into the shed. The wonderful weather is here at the moment, and the shed is absolutely fantastic just now. So I thought, why not? Let's bring myself back out and let's get into the shed for a little bit. So, and again, with the whiskey, I'm having a wee trip down memory lane. I'm going to do a little series, folks. I know I don't do many series when it comes to whiskey, but I'm going to do a little trip down memory lane as well. So I'm going to do a little series of re-reviews. So whiskies that, that I've spent some time with back in the day helped me through my journey, got me to where I am now. I'm going to go back and revisit them and see if my palate has changed and whether the whiskey is, is what I remember it of. So I'm starting out, guys. The first one on the bar today is the wonderful, we're heading to the beautiful Isle of Arran. We have the wonderful Arran Amarone finish, cask finish, coming in at some 50% ABV, non-chill filtered, and natural colour is everything is from the Isle of Arran distillery. So yes, it was one of the very, very first whiskies that I ever tackled on a review way, way back at the very beginning. So if you've watched me from the beginning, you might have tackled this. You might have seen this one early in the early, early days. The video is now hopefully a wee bit better quality and a wee bit more education, a wee bit more info going on. So this one, I'm just going to dive in. I'm going to tackle it. The Aaron Amarone is part of your Cast Finney series. And I think if I remember correctly, they've got the Amarone, got the Sauternes. We have the Port Cask Finish. They may have added some to that now. You'll probably notice again if you're eagle eyed, you'll probably notice I've got the old bottle here. I'm a big, big fan of the old bottle. The story behind this one is it was my very, very first Aaron whiskey that I tried at the Aaron distillery and it blew me away. And I tried to come out after a little tasting and buy a couple of bottles. As usual, it was that good. It was the only one of the cask finishes that was actually sold out. So I had to wait till I got home and I managed to source it and search it out. Did I buy a couple of bottles? No, I didn't. I bought a full case of it. So I went in and I dived in big and I picked up a case of this whiskey. So this is going back to around about 2016, 2017. This I'm sad to say is my last bottle of the old one. Uh, you probably notice up behind me here, guys, we have the new bottles of Aaron. I've got the quarter cask, the sherry cask, the Aaron 10, and the Aaron 18, all in the new bottles. So, guys, without any further ado, I'm going to dive in. This Amarone has been around since 2010. That's when it first hit the shelves. It's a rich, what's Amarone? It's a rich, dry Italian wine. High ABV wine, so it's a bit punchy, but it's very, very fruity, very sweet. Floral, fruity, sweet, intense. Get me wrong, guys, the 50% ABVs there. Would I recommend this for an absolute beginner? Then probably not. But once you've dabbled your feet in the whiskey in a wee bit, you've ta tackled some of these higher ABVs. This is certainly one that you can get. If you're going to tackle it as a newbie, I'd make sure you've got some water handy because I think you're going to need to put some water into this one to bring it down a little bit because it's it's punchy, it's intense. Floral, sweet, spicy, honey. Lovely chocolate note as well. That chocolate is mixed with some red fruits, maybe some cranberry, maybe some raspberry. Definitely some red fruit. A little bit of cherry. But wow. Real, real engaging nose, guys. So we know we like to nose whiskies on the channel from time to time, guys. But from time to time, we like to taste them as well. But just before I do, colour-wise, it's a beautiful, maybe dark gold. Maybe a mid-copper, mid-amber. There's definitely not a Jurassic Park thing going on. And I'm not too sure if it's the light here, but there's a little bit of a pink hue coming across that one as well. Absolutely lovely. Some nice, big, thick legs on there. Hope the camera can pick that up. But look at that. Look how thick and oily that's going to be. That's absolutely incredible. So, guys, wish me luck. Going to send it down the hatch responsibly, of course. Cheers.
Wow. Just as I remember it. It's one of those whiskies, guys. I think I've done a few recently. Bringing back old friends. This is definitely an old friend. I think it's been a wee while since I tackled it, though. Maybe six months since I've had an Amarone. I did have a special Amarone over an Isla, so that's a different story. But that's lovely. Rich, intense. Nice little sweetness. Spicy. Fruity. The fruity notes are that, that kind of cranberries there, that plum, raspberry maybe, some honey there, some nice, nice honey. It starts off in the palate very, very dry. Not for long, it's the dryness just sucks all the saliva out your palate, becomes very juicy. Wow, lovely. Let me do another quick sip. Nice, nice chocolate note there as well, some dark chocolate. That was for research, of course. Dark chocolate mixed with that red fruit, raspberry, cranberry, maybe. Some definitely some red fruit there with it. It's honey. It's a little bit dry. See the dryness is there on arrival, but it comes very mouth watering, very juicy, very quickly. It's spicy. It's a punchy whiskey. See if you're new to whiskey, guys, again, just make sure you've got some water nearby. Cinnamon, chocolate, cinnamon. Some fruit, some peaches maybe. Maybe not peaches, no, peaches are the wrong one. Apricots, pears, maybe a bit of stewed fruit, a bit of cooked fruit. Definitely the honey's there. It's becoming very jammy and very sticky as it heads towards the finish. So let's dive in and tackle the finish, folks. You probably see that's a decent sized dram, guys, but it's not. It's just that usual. If you're used to it, it's just a tiny little whiskey friend capita glass. But let's do a fit for the finish. That cover up with a whiskey friend, whiskey battle, doing the hatch coins, guys. Yes, I've got a handful left. If you want to pick up some coins or some glasses, then head into the description down below. I'll put all the links in there that can help you figure out how, if you want to help support the channel, just follow the links and it'll show you how to pick up some coins and some glasses. Wow, that's so good. That finish now is a little nice little oaky note on the finish. Spicy oak, spicy wood. It's a little bit bitter, but it's not off putting. Once you get past that initial bit and this eases off, dark chocolate, the cherry comes through. And it's got a little bit dark cherry now as well, but it's there's some lovely sweet fruity notes in there. Lovely sweetness about this whiskey. So yes, guys, I'm Aaron Amaroni. If you've tried it, do me a favour, dive in, share your thoughts with me, share your comments, let me know if you've tried it, have you enjoyed it, have you not enjoyed it, have you continued to buy it like I have and continue to drink it like I have. Dive into the comments, guys, and let me know. So, finish-wise, it's... See, it's dry, it's chocolatey, it's dark cherry, spicy, spiced oak, honey sticky, jammy thing going on, and that lovely, lovely sweetness. And on the nose, it's lovely, lovely and floral. Chocolatey on the front of the nose. The ABV is there throughout, so you may want to have some water. I actually love it, guys, without the water. So, score-wise, what we score this one? I'm thinking maybe 87 out of 100. I'm comfortable with that one. Price-wise, it's that 50 to 55 pounds. Slightly nearer the 50 pounds. It's in the same sort of price bracket getting to as the quarter cask and the sherry casks. I think they might have just crept a little bit higher than that. I think this is nearer to 50, this one. So for me, excellent value for money. If you want to tackle the Isle of Arran, then I think it's a great price point to target at. It's a great whiskey. It's a lot. It's it's definitely complex. It's definitely engaging. It's definitely interesting. And if you want to try out some Amarone wine finish, this is perfect for it. I do have a cast strength one indoors as well, which I may get round to at some point in the future. But I see, guys, this is the first one in a little series. If there's any whiskies that you think I've I've done maybe a couple of years ago, you'd like to see me re-review again. Dive into the comments and let me know what you think. Coins, description down below. Glasses, description down below. If I've got a beautiful little merry bunch of Patreons, love each and every one of them. I'm, as usual, at the end, if you can hang on to the end of the, the video, you know, they'll all get name-checked. Uh, love every one of them, guys. If you feel you want to become part of that beautiful little 
whiskey nerdy community that I have, then dive in. Just click the Patreon button down below, and I'd love to have you on board. You can do it for as little as a dollar a month. You can do it as much as you want a month. So, guys, that's me. I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. As always, the pleasure is in the sharing. And until the next one, guys, don't forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye.